pole position. Nico's obviously produced the goods, but has Nico won pole position as much as Lewis has, has kind of thrown away the opportunity? Clearly, uh, I think he has uh, he has lost an opportunity. Uh, the car was good enough for for pole position or for the front row, and um, yeah, it's tricky around here. We were looking to be more than a second ahead before we entered into qualifying, and we came out a couple of tens in, in the front seven tens or eight tens, and Lewis in P what is it eight or nine? Yeah, so certainly not uh, what we have expected. I'm sure he'll be mo more frustrated than anybody because he's dominated the weekend so far, Lewis Hamilton, hasn't he? He's just been quickest in every session. Is there such a thing as trying too hard? No, I think it's very marginal on a street circuit like here. Once you are not in the rhythm, I guess it's very difficult and, uh, to get the lap out. And uh, it's the first time we've seen that with him this year. He's always delivered. And uh, today was not his day. Yep. OK, well, just your thoughts on what he can do from, from, from there in the race. And Nico obviously can can control everything in what's sure to be or if the other gp2 is anything to go by quite a chaotic ground break yeah pole position doesn't assure you that you're coming out of lap one in the lead because yeah. the, the 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 straight is so long yeah. but certainly you're also able to recover from p8 or p9 because uh, overtaking is easier than on on other circuits but you need to come out of lap for lap one that's the most important and like you've seen in gp2 uh, it can produce some pretty dramatic uh, shunts Congratulations on Paul, thanks very much.